piece of software and you don't want to start from scratch so you want to use some code that is out there on the internet and that code needs to receive some of your secrets in order to provide the functionality that you are looking for but how do you know that that piece of code was not written by an attacker or moreover that that piece of code doesn't run away with your secrets in this course I will show you that using pure functional languages you can avoid this situation by ensuring that the cool code was written with a security library see you in the course Do you want to learn about CATS and cool applications in verification? Clini algebra and extensions with tests and other operators like concurrency have been used in the verification of networks and other programs. If you want to learn more, come to my class at the Oregon Programming Languages Summer School. Hello, my name is Justin and I'm here with my special assistant, Felix. Felix, do you know what's cool? That's right, Felix. Probix programs are cool. Felix, do you know what's even cooler? Right again, Felix. Reasoning about probabilistic programs is even cooler. Probabilistic programs are one of the most fascinating areas of programming languages. Come to my course to hear about what these programs do, what can they be used for, and most importantly, how we can formally reason about their correctness. See you soon. Hi everyone, Patricia Johan here to tell you a little bit about my course at OPLSS in the summer of 2021. So my course is on advanced data types, semantics of advanced data types, and these are types like nested types and GADTs that generalize traditional algebraic data types. We're going to focus on what these types might mean semantically and on how what they mean semantically can help us understand how we can and can't reason about them and can and can't program with them. Okay, and most importantly, and probably most interestingly, we're going to think about why. So that's what I have in store for you. Um, see you at OPLSS, everyone. Program semantics is centered around equivalences and refinements. This holds for excellent reasons. Through them, indeed, it is possible to justify program transformations and optimizations and demonstrate that a program satisfies a specification. But what if two programs are not equivalent and there are a lot of them? Can we say anything about using one in place of the other? In other words, would it be possible to measure the distance between programs? This is precisely what we are going to talk about in this course. See you there. Hello, welcome to this school. My course is about computations involving effects such as non-determinism or manipulation of external store or input output. To run, such computations need to interact with the world. They run in or say against, if you wish, an environment. We will be looking into the mathematics of this. See you very soon. Hi, I'm Bob Harper from Carnegie Mellon. I'm a 20 year veteran of the summer school. I'm looking forward to teaching this year about types and programming languages as, as I often do uh, every year. I'm a little sorry that I won't be in Eugene. I won't be able to go to Prince Puckler's with you. We won't be able to do some brutal ride over Spencer's Butte, but we'll, we'll uh, nevertheless we'll manage. And I'll have my uh, mascot here from U of O to keep me company while teaching. See you very soon, bye. Hi, this is Stephanie Bowser. I was asked to do something funny. 
I didn't really know what I should do, but I thought because it's a summer school, I'm going to wear a summer hat. Anyway, I really hope that you're going to join me. I will be talking about session types. We will discover together what their grounding is in linear logic. Uh, basically, we'll talk about a curie hierarchy correspondence, and then we'll see how we can increase the expressiveness of linear session types by adding sharing to it, and thus get support for real-world systems. I'm really excited. See you soon in June at the Oregon Programming Languages Summer School.